Hello everybody and welcome to Katie's File Part 2 and I just made the request at the Leon County Jail to send me all of the information that they had on Catherine McBanua at the Leon County Jail and they sent it to me in just one day and I just wanted to note that there really wasn't any things significant in her file. Just a couple of things. The list of people that Katie has to be separated from in the uh, jail system in Florida in general, whether it is prison or in jail. And I'll read you that list. And also, I believe, uh, obviously, her mugshot has changed. There have not been any significant incidents, but in the past, we remember her nose ring incident, which was her first kind of infraction and we've seen her get into it with her inmates. She's tired of these blanks and she definitely had some infractions, some disputes with people over laundry and she got in trouble for things that she was doing in her bunk with another inmate and, and things like that. But I don't think any of that character evidence will really matter at this upcoming trial, I think her testimony will be just about as credible as Luis Rivera, and the jury seemed to uh, understand and believe Luis Rivera. Whether Katie is a witness or not, uh, the jury's still out. Definitely nothing too exciting to report, but I'll send it to that paperwork right now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Katie's File Part 2. And I made a part one, but it was taken down. So let's just get to this inmate event file that has about maybe 14 events. And these are events that are not very interesting or significant. I, I think these are like ones or twos and significant, but a couple of fives and only significant because of like severity or because of Maybe like a transfer or booking into jail is a five or like a major incident is a five. Okay, let's take a look at her picture was taken and we see this brand new picture. It's so interesting. Oh my goodness. And then, um, yeah, with that big smile, I mean, it is kind of significant. Katie is, this is like her 15 minutes of fame is not over yet. So she was booked into jail and uh, she was put into confinement and I think that's just because they say her history of due to her uh, history which is being convicted of murder one yeah that'll get you into confinement so they check on her a few times in confinement about every day like three times a day and then they said that they took her into some PREA training, which is some kind of sex assault training. And then they moved her into pod M and where she is staying still on confinement. And they say she's okay and resting. Let's go ahead and scroll up. Let's look at what she was issued. She has white shack tennis shoes i don't know whether that means shaquille o'neal or what and then she has a doc blue top and bottom doc paperwork i mean de department of corrections i'm assuming a black hair tie chapstick black digital watch no stones a white tone chain necklace with charm that i guess that's something she might have bought at the um canteen or something i don't know if they give out necklaces or watches maybe sh she did buy a watch it's good to know what time it is it's time for justice for dan that's what i think so she has uh i think these basic things she's issued a u uniform shoes clean blanket clean sheets clean towel clean washcloth clean pillowcase clean underwear one pillow cup and one spork Disposable items, toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, comb, appropriate feminine personal hygiene as needed. And she's read um, the rules and regulations. And I think that she also will get phone use to call whoever will pick up the phone for her. So scrolling up, I think that I want to get to the things that I found the most interesting. Um, she is not pregnant. 
she doesn't have any existing injuries or she is not thinking of harming herself before this trial. She wants to get up there and testify. So let's look at on 10 1, they said that she is on hold for authorities, turn over to the authority agency. So this this is a, not an arrest as that news station that Judy had mentioned said that she's uh, waiting in court for another trial or something. That is ridiculous. She is up here, the Charlie Adelson trial, and we don't know if she's going to testify, but It'll sure be interesting. Okay, says that she has a work skill of bookkeeping for for the past four years, and it's a moderate skill level. She has been, I guess, taking some courses on bookkeeping. Good on her for learning a little bit while she's sentenced to life. Moving on, moving on. All right, we see her older mug shots here. Super grainy, but this seems more accurate than uh, some of the other paperwork we had seen filed. I wanted to also note, this is where it says that she will be transported to Leon County for trial by October 9th. I believe that they keep saying October 9th. There's supposed to be a hearing on October 9th, but then I guess the Adelsons are going to be doing their Zoom meeting on the 12th. I cannot keep these dates straight, everybody, but... Uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on this week. So just stay tuned. Let's all just try to figure out everything as it's unfolding. And last but not least, I wanted to get to the part where I tell you who who Katie is supposed to be staying away from in the jail system. It's supposed to stay away from Sigfredo Garcia, Luis Rivera, Delmonica Davis, Brenda Ward, Amy Louise Menka, Trinity Russell, John Leishman, Louis Rivera, and Charles Adelson. And then they mention Louis's name twice, but, and there will probably be a few more incidents and infractions that Katie will just have to be separated from her girlfriends and former boyfriends, et cetera, et cetera. Katie is just living her last. 15 minutes of fame, but I have a feeling that if there's more trials, she'll still be a star witness and unfortunately, fortunately and unfortunately. But if we look here, some of us were questioning some of these stats on her, um, I guess her original arrest wreck. All right. And then she says that she does not have any mental or physical or developmental disability. And she does have a history of violence. I found that pretty interesting because because of her her conviction. So we will see if a jury does take Catherine seriously or whether she seems as an uncredible witness. Only time will tell. And thank you all so much for listening to Katie's File Part 2. There will be more if she comes back for more trials and... Uh, we, maybe we'll get to a part four. If I need to do more, we'll do a part four, <laughs> three or four. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching Katie's File Part 2. And uh, I probably won't be checking up on Katie in prison. I just don't want to spend my own personal money on these prison records. I think it'll probably be just more of the same. Probably been her normal self just kind of getting into minor incidents and I think following this trial is way more exciting. So thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day.